Hello, my name is Sidney Carlson from the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands is located between Cuba and Jamaica, for those who do not know. Uh, we're here today checking out our new appliance for the Cayman Brac, which Cayman Brac is one of the three islands. It's the middle of the three. We have Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac, and Little Cayman. Travel down to the Cayman Islands, you'll have a wonderful time. You can always stop into the fire service and look for us. All right, with our Rosenbauer truck, we asked to incorporate the front pre-connect. The front pre-connect will have a 100 foot, two inch hose. Majority of all our light system is LED. Wonderfully incorporated through a 12 volt system that Rosenbauer has, in, has provided with the truck. And as we go into the truck, uh, wonderful cab. We have made sure all of our radio communications, everything is operated by the sideman. We don't have a computerized system or a GPS system, but the island's so small. Everyone does the topography, get to know the island, and we are able to get to our locations without having the operator engineer to touch the radios for communicating with 911 or anything. He's solely focused on getting to and from the scene. Right now we're seating four. We're seating four crew members in to this tanker. Uh, the tanker, this Rosamara tanker is a 2,500 gallon water, 100 gallons of class A foam, operating a Rosamara 1,500 gallon per minute pump, uh, high pressure booster reel, rear booster reel, um, two, two and a half inch discharge, six inch intake, uh, driver's inlet, um, very, very efficient pumping system that what we're operating here. And we truly appreciate the build, the quality that is put behind the work of this truck. We keep our, our hoses, everything very close by. We use a, uh, what they call the Dutch roll. We don't flake our hoses, all of our hoses are Dutch roll. So the cabinet has been laid out for each individual. We're using from 45 millimeter to 70 millimeter hoses. We have our generator uh, panel box here for our floodlights. Our lockers will incorporate uh, our SCBAs. Other little handheld tools uh, that we will use, uh, the halogens and, and our axes and uh, cribbing blocks and all those would actually fit into these well-built lockers. Great for storing. Um, the rear locker would incorporate for our how metro extrication tools. For our brush fires that we have on the island, we would be able to have flake holes up on the top for easy lay out in the rural areas. Uh, we have two tank fill, direct tank fills. This goes right into the tank. Um, these are the tripod floodlights, LED floodlights that we're using. This is our rear locker. This is where we would have a 150 foot hose reel. Uh, also to incorporate should we have to back into a, a very narrow road, we're able to get to a hose quick enough, 150 feet. Our gantries contains two six, and a half, two six inch suction hoses we do a lot of drafting. We do not have a municipal system where we have fire hydrants all over the island. So we would have to draft from an open water source or what we have is deep wells in the Cayman Islands. Then we have our ladder gantry. The ladder gantry consists of a 10 foot folding, 16 foot roof, 24 foot extension. And here we have our power cord for our extrication fans. It's a 200 foot power cord. Also controlled by the generator, should we need any um, power, and especially utilizing, if we had to utilize uh, multiple uh, extrication fans or other equipment while at the scene. And once again, a, another locker, we use these also for additional cribbing blocks, um, other tools that we may need, uh, chainsaws, as we do have incidents that would require us a vehicle going into the brush would have to cut our way into extricate people and it has occurred <laughs> 
second locker, this is also our SCBA locker where we keep our, our, our gear. Um, also with our department, we carry two, two BA control boards, entry control boards. So one will be on either side. In this locker, um, we also would carry our additional uh, branches. We would also carry our suction tools, you know, all the connections, the pre-connects and everything we would have stored in here along with additional hoses. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking this walk around this beautiful truck with me. I would like to thank Chief Randy Rankin, Ricardo Charlton, Deputy Chief of the Cayman Islands Fire Service for making this possible. I would like to thank the Ministry of Home Affairs, Grand Cayman Islands, for making all of this possible. We truly appreciate your standing behind us and seeing that every need and every reason for us to have this beautiful truck. Here you have it, our beautiful truck for Cayman Brack.